Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on IDAX. In our earlier video, we discussed about some basics about IDAX, like uh, what is the structure of the IDAX. The structure of IDAX contains uh, data records, control record, status records, and uh, what are the message numbers for inbound and outbound uh, IDAX, and what's the direction for inbound and outbound IDAX, and what's the pattern profile, and how the quality processing will work, and uh, what are the reports available to process the collective IDAX in case of both incoming IDAX and outbound IDAX. I will give you that uh, link for the playlist. You can check out that. In today, we will discuss about the segments available in the data records. Let's get started. Let me open the transaction code WE02. So I'm going to execute for one year data execute okay so if you see here i can see one orders incoming idac and order response outbound idac so whenever order saved in our system successfully then one acknowledgement will be sent to the end customer remember that if the customer is enabled to receive the data in EDI format, EDI fact, ANSI X2 format, then only we will be sending one outbound IDAC as an acknowledgement. In other words, if the customer is not around for EDI customers, then we can simply trigger one email output, transmission medium 5. Email output transmission medium 5 can be triggered, which will be sending as an email to that customer saying that order has been created, something we will inform in that mail. As it is in uh, EDA customer, we will be sending an outbound IDAC only. The message type is ORDRSP. So what I will do here, let me open the both of the IDACs in different different screens. And uh, let me copy one IDAC. Copy this one. Remove the date from date and the put IDAC number execute. So it's an R response IDAC and uh, I will open order create also now. See, it's an order create also. And let me open invoke also. Okay, I will open in another window. Okay, if you observe here, the mess the basic type for both address order create interface as well as order response interface is address 05 only that means the segments in in these two idax are same same segments we can see and uh, let me open one more idac for invoice outbound okay let me open again we02 And the logical message, the message type is invoke, I-N-V-O-I-C, and execute. Fine, so let me open this IDAC now. Most of the times, the segments in uh, order create, order response, and invoke all are similar only. Suppose if we compare invoice message type with order create, all are same, even at 01, even at 14, even at A1, right? Most of the time, see, we have even at A1, even at A1, LF, AG, LW, and uh, even at P01, if I scroll down, yeah, even at P01, right? So most of the times, segments are same across all the interfaces, like order create, order change, order response, and outbound IDAC or incoming IDAC. Everywhere, it is same. Okay, let me maximize it. Okay, the transaction code to see the segments are the message types. Okay, let me open the T code WE30. 
remember this t code we30 so here i can give the basic type see here there are two options are here basic type or extension let me give basic type here and display so these are the available existing segments in the idoc and we should remember that the segments whatever we see here will be always available in the idoc no not like that data is populated to the idoc segment then only that segment will be displayed in the idoc if there is no data to be populated to that segment then that segment won't be displayed in the idoc simple rule data is there then only the segment will be visible in the idoc if there is no data in the segment then that segment won't be displayed in the idoc but these are the maximum available segments in this basic type orders 05 so if you click here it contains some field here right okay let me copy this okay let me go to one more t code s e 11 so i have dictionary t code e 1 e d k 01 this is the segment displayed so what what does it mean is that each and every segment in idoc is given structure in abap it's given structure okay and if you see here in the idoc even edk01 segment we have six five fields are here currency again currency and exchange rate that conversion amount and uh, po type and po number right so we have five field here but if you see the structure even edk01 and sc11 transaction code we have 32 fields are there but still as i said if the data is available to populate to that segment then only that segment will be visible in the idoc if there is no data in any of the field or any of the segment at all then we can't we are not able to see that segment or field in the idoc simple thumb rule okay so only populated data only will be visibly displayed in the segment or segment field if there is no data nothing will be displayed right so each and every segment here is an one structure and so if you if you don't know what is the purpose of even at k01 simple just if you see there is one small uh, white color icon is the red double click here if you double click there it will open one more window there we can see the description of the field you see here what it is saying even at k01 is nothing but idoc document header general data it's an document header general data it will holding the general data of the our document order invoice anything okay so currency is a currency description of that field hwar means ed local currency wkurs what does it mean it's exchange rate and bsert means document type it's nothing but po type and it's a po number right so if you don't know the meaning of this each and every field in this uh, segment simply double clicking on this one will come to know the description of the field and the segment name as well similar way you see there is one more segment even edk14 so even edk14 is this one document header organizational data okay let me tell you one more thing here okay so if you see the here even edk01 segment after the segment you don't see anything here but coming to even edk14 we have 014 here again one more even edk14 with 009 again one more even edk14 with 013 so what does it mean okay the values what we see after the segment is called qualifier what does it mean it's a qualifier let me tell you what does it mean okay if i double click here we can see that qualifier number is 14 14 referring that it's a purchasing organization and the purchasing organization value is adhi okay let me tell you show you that in we30 we are in we30 let me show you one more time and the basic type is order 05 display it and if i double click even at dk14 you see 
I will, I will get some field here. Double click means in W30 only, okay? In W30, not W02. In W30, I have double clicked on the segment and I can segment name, maximum number, maximum number 14, something I can see here. If I click segment editor now, click here. Hmm. So here it is data element is this one, okay? If I double click data element here, if I double click here, data element, and if I click further characteristic field label, okay, if I click the dead domain now, and if you click the value range, okay, now you see the what I mean now. Okay, let me try to minimize this one. Okay, I'm not able to do that. Fine, so you see here, there are some fixed values we defined here. Uh, 001 means business area, 002 means sales area, but in the idea what we saw, we saw 14. 14 is nothing but purchasing organization. That means when business is trying to push the data, what they can do, they can simply mention 14 and they can enter the value. And if they mention 13 and they can send the value means the value what they are sending is for purchase order type. So here the domain is acting as an multi-personal disorder like that. So it will be acting like a, it can it can hold multiple values and to differentiate the value relevant for which field with the help of the qualifier. Okay. So this domain and all purely abbreviated stuff, but, uh, but uh, ABAP is not that much uh, complex. We can easily understand that. Right, so each and every qualifier has some meaning here. And if I click F4, so here also we can see the different meaning here. Okay, either the either in W30, we can see what are the available qualifiers by opening the domain, or here in the same W02 itself in the IDAC. If you double click on this, let me do, let me do go one more time. Double click on this uh, white icon, and you see qualifier is 14 and if I click here you see home I have 21 qualifiers are here every qualifier has one reason 11 12 13 everything has some meaning so when business pushing the data they will push the data by referring to the qualifier only okay according so if the segment contains any qualifier that time only we see the values here Coming to even decade 01, there is no qualifier here. It has only field, no qualifier here. Right? It directly has the field only. Okay, let me open in W30 also, this one also. If I open WE30, even decade 01 segment, segment editor. See, here I straight away see the field, whatever is available. Which are the field available in this segment, right? Currency, G term, BSCRT, BELN, or something like that. But coming to even EDK 14, I see two things only qualifier and ORG ID. But this qualifier responsible to hold multiple values with multiple qualifier IDs. You see the difference, right? In case of qualifiers, in the segment we see two field only. QUALF qualif and ORGID. This is the qualifier, the field name and the value of the field. So whenever we push multiple values to the qualifiers, then we can see multiple same segment with different qualifier ID and it should be unique only. We can't see even at 14 and 014 twice. It will be only one time only displayed. So this is the qualifiers. Remember this. Similar way, even EDK A1 also having some qualifier. If I double click on the white icon, or see, even EDK A1 also have the qualifiers, and it, this one also displaying the data. So this one is AG data and LF. So qualifier is AG here. If I put here, see, so many qualifiers here, right? And uh, if I open the same information in uh, here as well, even EDK A1, segment editor, 
see I have some values here right so so this will indicate us two things here one is qualifier one is the data of which customer okay so here what we saw we have two fields only we saw qualifier and value but here we saw that it's in a value only no no qualifier here but still it will act as a qualifier only and uh, we have several even dka even structures are there one for ag means sold to customer lf means vendor lw i don't know let me check that sold to party yeah, it is saying that partner function fine and uh, w means ship to party okay so and if you see here in w30 in w30 for even dk even there is some plus symbol is there plus means it is having some sub segment it's a parent segment it has some sub segment related to this one only but we don't see this sub segment data in idoc we have even edk even only but we don't have any icon symbol here for example if you see even dp01 okay um, for example if you see even dp01 has some sub segments are there see so many are there right and uh, here also we have even dp01 arrow mark is there if you click this one you will see the segments that means as i said earlier if there is a data for any segment then only the segment will be displayed in the idoc if there is no data nothing will be displayed and that's what happened for even edk a1 also even though even edk a1 has this uh, segment even edk a3 as there is no data to this segment that's why we don't see any sub segment for this even edk a1 that's why we don't see any this kind of arrow mark for this it's a dot only radio button something like that right so data is there then only then only the segment or field will be displayed or else nothing will be displayed and that is one thing so if you don't know what is the meaning what is the purpose of the segment just double click here in the white icon and understand what is the value inside this one and what is the purpose of the segment you can see the heading here right and in the initially you it might be very difficult for you to understand but if you use the dialog frequently you can easily correlate segment run for which component in the order something right so these are the segments and coming to the important segment it's an even edp01 even edp01 so just remember this just mug it up even edp01 means it's an idoc item it's an order item data or invoice item data or delivery item data anything okay it's an item data if we have two order two items in the order then we see two even edp01 in here two means two three items are there in the order means three even edp01 segment will be displayed here each and every even edp01 referring to one item remember that even edp01 is equal to item number passner posnr in vbap table okay and if you remember that it will be in ascending order only 10 20 30 however that uh, items we see in the order same sequence same order only we can see data also here only right so even edp01 is nothing but an item data relevant item data if i click here i can see some other segments here you see for uh, even edp01 we have several segments but we can see only two are displayed because for others there is no data displayed there is no data available that's why we don't see those data here remember that w30 is the guide there's a maximum segments field available in the idoc structure the basic type is r05 based on this only all the data will be populated right okay so if you double click even dp01 or if you click on this white icon of even dp01 we see the this item number posex means item number action item added pst op means item category menge that means quantity right and the unit of measure is kgm so we can read out this data very very easily not that much complicated because we have description also here we can easily read the data and uh, even edp20 is in schedule line segment data okay remember that even edp20 is run for schedule line data the table is vbep as we know that it's schedule line data is an order quantity 
okay is a previous scheduled quantity and it's a delivered date okay remember that even edp20 it will display only the confirmed quantity scheduled only if it is confirmed zero it won't display and we can see the heading of even edp20 is idx scheduled lens data okay and even edp19 is nothing but the material data okay in even edp01 segment we see item number quantity uim mandal you can see that but actual material number for that item item is we can see in e1 edp19 so frequently in the idac we will be working on these segments only e1 edp01 for item data e1 edp20 schedule lens data e1 edp19 item data item means material number will be displayed here material number you see material number here and if i double click here remember that e1 edp19 contains again the qualifiers are there if i click f4 here Okay, double zero one means it's a metal. It's an SAP metal number. Okay, and double zero two means metal number by vendor, and uh, EN double zero three means EN number, international article number. Right, something will be there here. Most of the times, business will be sending the data based on these parameters only. Double zero one, double zero two, or double zero three. Okay, there's a small correction. Double zero one for CMIR number. And double zero two for material number, SCP material number, CMIR number means is a customer material number. Double zero three means EAN code. Okay. So this is how we should read the data. And if I go to the other IDAC also, and let me open this one. So it's an invoice IDAC. So might be so might be an invoice IDAC. as the basic type is uh, different we might see some extra segments or uh, some segment has been missing here compared to address 05 segment but still the concept is similar in case of all the ducks uh, this is how we should read the segments and understand what the segment is relevant for what data that it is carrying by going through these segments one by one we can understand where is the issue what we need to check and uh, pricing i would like to tell you about pricing also but in this order there is no pricing let me tell you whether pricing is there in any of the segments yeah so important thing we should remember that every item has pricing right and the pricing will be identified with the help of segment even edp05 segment okay this is the pricing segment plus means it is the plus means it might be a surcharge or freight or a tax anything plus means adding that value to the net value of the item minus means it might be discount it will be reduced from the net value fine guys we'll continue the next video